Didn't you just love the picture? I did. But I just felt so sorry for the creature. At the end. Sorry for the creature? Would you want him to marry the girl? Oh, he was kind of scary looking. But he wasn't really all bad. I just think he craved a little affection. You know? The sense of being loved and needed and wanted. It's a very interesting point of view. Oh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? <laughs> Doesn't it? Well, what do you think it'd be fun to do now? Not so much cut, not so much air from the subway. And then get another pair of underwear. You can see everything. me for all those people! They all think I married a whore. This guy did. We're about to shoot the scene in Mr. Sherman's apartment, where you first realize the true nature of his intentions. <clears throat> Can you hand me a couple of red speeches? Killed you, Marilyn. We must reach for the emotional foundation of the scene. Beneath every comedic moment is a dramatic conflict. Hey, Whitey. Joe? I took care of the hotel guy. He won't say anything to the reporters. Uh, what, do you think they don't know? Everybody knows. What will the Hall of Fame committee think? Well, maybe you'll get the sympathy vote. Because your wife's a whore. It won't happen again. Oh, I know it won't. I called Jared Geisler. When I get back to L.A., I'm filing for divorce. Marilyn. I warned you once. Can't we just talk about this? It's too late. Nobody uses me as their punching bag. I know that. I know. It's my fault. It's all... It's all been my fault. It was because... I Because I love you. That's all. I just, I just love you so much. <laughs> 